Hello, I'm Dean Alterman. I'm an associate professor of urology at the University of Toronto here in Toronto, Canada. So there is a new treatment for the management of BPO, and this is the Optilum BPH drug-coated balloon system. Uh, it's a novel way of uh, creating uh, an opening of the prostate in a minimally invasive fashion. Essentially, uh, it's uh, two sets of balloons. The first is a double balloon, um, which is inflated in the prostate. And essentially, the double balloon will lock into position at the bladder neck with the first half of the balloon inside the bladder and then the second balloon within the prostate. And what we do is we inflate that balloon to create what's called an anterior commissurotomy. So essentially, the natural cleavage plane of the prostate at the 12 o'clock position where the left and right lateral lobe will open up, it'll split open. Once this anterior commissurotomy is achieved, based upon the prostate length, we will select the appropriately sized drug-coated balloon. And at this point, we insert the second double balloon, but this time it's covered with a medication called paclitaxel. And what we do then is we inflate this second double balloon, again, one, into one side in the bladder, one other half within the prostate, where they meet, it locks in place at the bladder neck, and the balloon is then inflated uh, and it's held in place um, for uh, seven minutes. And while it's inflated, the paclitaxel drug coating is absorbed into this freshly created anterior commissurotomy. And because it's a hydrophobic medication, it's rapidly absorbed into the tissue. And this, this paclitaxel with its anti-proliferative properties which prevent the prostate from closing and healing shut. Thus, the anterior commissurotomy stays open in the long run. So the Pinnacle clinical trial was a prospective, randomized, sham-controlled study. Essentially, this is the pivotal study uh, looking at the Optilum BPH drug-coated balloon. And patients were very similar to other minimally invasive BPH studies. Uh, they were men with a history of BPH with prostate volumes between 30 to 80 milliliters uh, without uh, any large median lobes. Uh, they had to reach uh, certain criteria with respect to uh, peak flow rate, IPSS uh, symptom score, uh, and post-void residual to be included in the study. So the Pinnacle study has now been um, examined and published up to its 12-month results. Uh, and what we were able to show was a clinically meaningful improvement in IPSS symptom score uh, held out through 12 months. We saw an average about a 10.5 to 11.5 IPSS point improvement. Uh, and what we saw was an initial improvement with the uh, sham arm, but this, of course, degraded back towards the baseline over time. And this really indicated that we had a very good blinding on the sham arm, but of course, the results were very short-lived because, of course, it's a placebo treatment. Whereas with the active group who received the drug-coated balloon, we saw improvements in maximum uh, peak flow. We saw an improvement or reduction in post-void residual. And we also saw a greater than 70% 70 70 of patients achieving a greater than 30% uh, percent improvement, which is the uh, clinically meaningful improvement, or the MCID. So this is really uh, one of the, if not the newest minimally invasive treatment for BPO. And what is unique about it compared to other currently available minimally invasive surgical therapies or MISTs uh, is first that it's really the uh, harmony between using a medical device and a medication. We are really using almost a hybrid product where you're getting the improvements from the mechanical dilation of the balloon but the addition of a medication, the paclitaxel. Uh, additionally, what I would say is the uh, amount of improvement that we see in uh, peak flow rates sustained out through 12 months uh, is greater than any of the other currently available minimally invasive treatments. And so I do think that this represents uh, a fairly significant step forward in the amount of improvement that we're seeing with this minimally invasive treatment. 
Uh, and of course, it is now going to be coming to market around the world, and we will see how it fits in to the various treatment options that we have for men with BPO.